good evening and good night. Great beer friends and lovers of freedom around the world. My name remains Lion Man Leone. You are very comrade in this very journey of liberation of people of Biafra. We are talking about over 75 million population that scattered around the world. It's only Biafra that will bring everyone back to their place of birth. And uh, we will do tremendously well in that particular place called Biafra. There is something today I want to hit on. I see a lot is happening anywhere, but we have to take them one by one. A lot is happening and a lot have happened and a lot is about to happen as well. Firstly, I will begin from the statement of Peter B, our own very brother. We will not deny him of being, not being our brother. He can deny himself for selfish interest purpose. But there's something I want always to allow people to know. I have said this in time without number. If you want to be respected before those that have choose you as their permanent enemy, like the Funani Britain have chosen the people of Biafra for no reason, for no reason, as their permanent enemy. There is always a way to stand strong before your enemy. I have taught many people this thing. Any day you support your enemy against somebody, against your own people, or against your own brother, or against your own sister, for one reason that is best known to you, because I have to be very diplomatic in this area. Let me say from example, let me just come into the, into the struggle where we are now. You see, there is mystery about human being, with the human being created by Elohim. It's not everybody we will like. Is a nature. It's not everybody we would like. That is why I don't believe in racism. Some will say racism, racism. I have gone to a conference and I hated on this thing and everywhere was stand still when I raised an issue that I don't believe in racism. But I believe in hatred and I believe in what I call choice of likeness and choice of love. Let me come into the struggle where we are. I may not like, let's say, okay, let's say from Brazil here where we are. We have national coordinator. We have national secretary. We have national financial secretary. We have the Deputy of Financial De Secretary. We have also Deputy National Secretary. We have Deputy Coordinator. We have other posts. And these are the people, we call them principal servants. Why is this word servant? Because we are serving the people of Biafra. Voluntarily. Underline that language. Voluntarily. Because what we are doing, nobody 
is being paid or nobody is being rewarded because you don't need to be rewarded because it is called struggle we are still in a state of struggling to liberate people which we don't expect it to be easy some came into the struggle not knowing the length not knowing what is going to face them they became frustrated because most of them have not due to the society where we grow we don't know what is called freedom we have never ventured into the journey of freedom before in our lifetime we have this belief of getting things easy or expecting things easy but that is not what life is all about life is all about difficulties some challenges then that will make you to climb to, to the level that you want in this things in this particular position that i mentioned my national coordinator may not like me as a person or i may not like him as a person or our national secretary may not like me as a person or perhaps i may not like him as a person but our own case is different we are all collaborating you know we love ourselves in our group that's why we are IPO. but i'm just making an example but there's one thing you must not make as a mistake in this regard if you don't like me as a person due to reason best known to you either based on on your pursuit of of let's say ambition or based on their pursuit of let's say what your pursuit is about yourself or about your family and uh, and i am speaking for everybody I don't want to follow you. I don't want to join. I don't want to join you with you in that in that road of selfish interest. Only me, only me. No, I lion man have refused to follow you in that angle. I have chosen to say, okay, I want a happy society. I want a healthy society, a society like abroad. Do you know why? Why many people are coming to abroad? Do you know why many? blessed persons from our land is coming to abroad abroad is a very difficult place to stay home. for those that will tell you the truth is the most expensive place the most difficult place because one the money we pay for house rent here annually if you calculate it annually even a billionaire in nigeria cannot pay that amount you see that in they say this is the area of billionaires area okay let's say let's say banana banana island in lagos there is no billionaire that pay amount we pay in abroad in annually when you calculate the money we pay annually there is no billionaire in nigeria that pay the same amount we pay more than them that's why i say abroad is more difficult place to stay but there is something that moves people to be coming to abroad. Do you know what? Is a society that is very secure, very safe. Why, why is this society very safe? This is the question that I want us to debate today. Why is this society very safe? With the little resources they have, they utilize those resources to build a healthy society. Do you know why? They respect law. Without law, there will be no healthy society. Because it is only law, the constitution of a nation is only thing that is the hope of a poor man. Are you listening to me? The hope, the only hope of a poor man is judiciary in every nation. 
and the white people doesn't play with this angle you see that particular institution they don't play with it. that is why it is totally independent do you know in abroad a president of a nation or a candidate who is contesting for election they are not visit pay a visit to the minister of justice or to chief judge to, to the chief justice of that particular nation if he dare pay visit to that particular man or camera anywhere caught them together camera anywhere caught them together the minister of justice or the chief justice of that particular country will be suspended for thorough questioning by the head of the police police will intervene immediately they will invite they will they will they will secure paper and invite him for questioning and if his answer is not genuine more deep in or more deeper investigation will commence immediately because they want to know what joined them together are you now in favor in the favor in the favor of one particular individual while we have other millions of souls that are attached to you which you, you are owed you took you took an oath to protect and preserve the constitutional right of the people not of that president or not of that candidate that's why they must not see them together a lot of them have gone to jail because of somebody picture them maybe where a candidate who is coming out for uh, for election they went to take coffee somewhere maybe somebody just maybe coincidentally like the one that happened here once in the minister of justice was saying no I went to this restaurant to take coffee. Or uh, unfortunately, I meet the candidate of social social party who is also went there to take coffee. But glory be to God, the police have to go and look on the camera, on the surveillance camera on that street. Now they discover that the minister of justice, no, the chief justice park. With his driver and security, they park on other car park. Why this one park on another street car park? They only met there coincidentally. That's how they met. And uh, that particular thing was cleared. That is how the chief justice was free and continue his job. But in, in the Nigeria, in Nigeria, in Nigeria or Zugeria, whatever. This is where you will see politicians going to INEC chairman house, going to Minister of Justice house, going to Chief Justice house. You know, no guy, no, no, no rule of law, no structure. Nigeria is the only country that has no structure to today. And with that structure, there is no way you can move anywhere. You, can, you cannot move an inch. Life is about structure. Family also with that structure. Go and look into the family with that structure. And you must, as a man, you must set a structure how your family will be run. This is how I want to, this family to be. That is why Marriage is different from relationship. You can engage anybody in relationship. Anybody, any character you can engage. But when it comes to marriage, that is when the sense of knowing that, yes, I am entering into a real business. I don't have to play. That is when you will discover if the person you are with is suitable for this journey or you are going to drop that person and pick another person for the journey the same thing that is applicable to man is also applicable to woman 
woman now can see a man this man is giving her comfort he's doing everything for her this and that but when it comes to that level of marriage the hour of marriage has come that the same woman you are doing everything for he has every right to say uh, guy marriage no because she during the time of that relationship you have already known she have already discovered something that she will not be able to manage through her lifetime because we're talking about lifetime through her lifetime so you have every right to say no here i will stop here i can't go into this level with you but this is where i can stop with you only relationship anything above this thing i can't go because she knew that there must be a permanent structure the same thing applicable to man as well the man have already know that this woman i cannot go a long way i cannot go along with this woman into this journey of building structure of my family he will drop her and move on to another person that he are fine worthy he are fine maybe through their conversation through their through that one act he will not discover yes this one is suitable to my to the to the level which i'm heading to now which is marriage the same thing is applicable to nation it's like ipub ipub without the structure of ipub what you'll be asking yourself what will be what will the ipub be today because with that structure there will be no respect of command and control which is the logo of ipu because there is a structure we have media structure the person on the media every media warrior is answerable to the person on the media if there is anything one of the media warriors said contrary or go against the rules and regulation or make a reckless utterance you don't call chick master chick dozium you don't call any you don't call uh, master chick nasamu the next thing you will the person you are going to alert is the head of the media of ipod look at this our comrade go and check the broadcast he made so so time and so so time there is utterance he made or she made please call her or call him to order because that is where he or she control they have that structure is there for him to manage so if that structure fell he fell It's like when finance of IPOB, when Nene Anyamo was misguided, only God know, knew what happened to her. Although, like Adusa, I must say the way this, she has a questionable character in terms of managing finance. It didn't start today, it started in 2017. But there's something that we say, Eleba, Eleba Ahara watch this thing and forget about this thing let's move on only god know what came over she fell enemy convinced her but her over she fell because there is structure in ipub there is structure in ipub now the money of ipub did not stop flowing because of her her failure Question you will ask yourself Has she been suspended? No. The answer is non official suspension from him from for her. 
have never been officially suspended. But tactically, they call it they call it is English we use tactically, she had been suspended. Because no family of IPOB is remitting anything into her hand anymore. But why what you be asking yourself? Where are they remitting it? We are remitting it to what? To the structure. Which she is not having access again to. Now, do you know why I'm saying what I'm saying? I am coming, I'm just laying a background. Do you know today, if war or any crisis, any national crisis happening in Nigeria, do you know that many people will stay in darkness without electricity? But I want to tell you what the, the power, the, the, the reason for structure, why structure is more important in any organization or in any, in any society. When war was going on in Libya, Libya has electricity because there is structure in Libya. When war was going on in Libya, water was flowing in the houses of Libyans because there was structure in Libya. All these uh, social amenities that sustain lives, hospital, we are going on. Do you know today, if any national crisis happened, hospital in Nigeria will shut down. Energy institution in Nigeria will shut down because there is no structure. Because if there is structure in Nigeria, judiciary we face to protect the interests of the nation, not the interest of a man or interest of an individual. This is what Britain did. Do you know why Britain do, did this thing in Nigeria? So that Africa will not rise. I told you, Nigeria is the reason why Africa is down. British, they are very, very intelligent. They look at it, how can we bring Africa down? They went and brought three, three people, three countries without understanding themselves. This is Yoruba. The way of their clothing is different from our clothing. The way of their food is different from our food. This is uh, our son. The way of their clothing is different from our clothing. The way of their food is different from our food. The, their culture, the way of their marriage is different from our marriage. In their place, somebody can pick 12 years old, 13, 14, a man of 30, a man of 40, and marry, which is not uh, child abuse. So their own culture is not child abuse, which is very good for them. But in our own culture, in Igbo land culture, if you dare eat, we call you pedophile. You are a pedophile. Those who sleep with most, most, most children, which is punishable. If you try it in our land, you can be killed. In fact, if nobody rescue you on time, see you see grave. Except you are a very, very lucky person. Maybe somebody just come to your rescue and say, okay, let us take this person to, don't take law into your hand. That is the only way you will survive. But if you are not lucky, the villagers may murder you, they may, they may mob you to death for that single act. Then if you come to abroad, this is something that you will do. You will be in prison for 25 years. There is one state in France, I think, uh, is it uh, Lyon? Uh, uh, Lyon, in Lyon, in France, they, cast, they, they castrate men who sleep with children. I don't know if they abolish that law. During the time of 2006, 2005, no, 2005, 2006, 2007, 
this particular state passed a, a bill of castrating them and they castrated three people in France about this particular act. And now you now come, you say these people they are one, they are one, they are one people. You bring somebody who have a right to marry 12 years old, and you join that person with somebody who has no right to marry even 17 years old, except from above 18, which is us. You now bring them and join us. Is is that not disaster that is that is trying to you are trying to establish disaster that we have no end because one that person may come to my own area trying to say ah i love this small girl and you look at him you ask him allergy which girl are you talking about maybe you are his friend you are talking about you know we're looking at a child from your compound that is about 11 years or 12 years you will not be looking at him then you look at him then you you you, you will give me a little slap then fight will start when facts start police will come government will be involved then now they will be telling you in their side is is their culture and you'll be telling them in our side is abomination. Do you see that this thing doesn't work? You see, this is what I want our Biafran who is enjoying fraud in Nigeria because the only thing that joins Nigeria together is lies, fraud, and the embezzlement, corruption. Any day you remove corruption in Nigeria, Ibo senators, Biafran senators, Biafran House of Rep members, Biafran ministers, and so on, and governors, you will see them telling the whole world that there is no way we can be one. The only thing that joined them together is what they are enjoying now lack of accountability. That is the only thing that joined them together. That is what they are enjoying. There is nothing else. Remove it, you see fight. You will see everybody, you will see Yoruba will be agitating to go. You will see Fanane will be saying, no, they want to go. You will see the Biafrans, those who are joining, enjoying the corruption, they will say they want to go. Anytime you remove that corruption, finish. Everybody will answer his father's name. They will want to go. Because there is nothing, there is nothing joining them together. What The bond that joined them together is evil. That evil have been dis have been broken, so everybody have to go to their tent. I am telling you gospel truth. Why am I saying what I'm saying? It's because of Peter B. Peter B has been here all the time. I said, although he was interviewed, what is IPOB? Of course, he said IPOB they are not a terrorist group. They are people who are living with him. Who, who walk around with him, who move around with him, say they are not. He said that, of course. I have to say what he said. But when they ask him, that is where his foolishness is established. When they ask him, what do you think about... Let me tell you something. No, anybody, let me tell you something. There is something you cannot deny in life. Either for interview or this thing. This is your name. Your identity is undeniable. You can deny your involvement in one issue or one another. But when it comes to your identity, you don't dare you deny it. I was on video conference on Thursday. I was on video conference on Thursday. With, with, a, with a judge and uh, his group from one other state. Because I was invited to come over. 
you know, life now is very is more easier. Technology. And I told them that I have exam to participate. If I miss the exam to participate, it will cost me another eight months before I will take that exam again. And I push paper to them. I said, I cannot come to that court standard. Okay, let us. Is that any other means? Since I must be present. Okay, that's okay. Fine. Do you have any gadgets that we can do it on video conference? You will be sitting wherever you are, then we hold the court, we hold. I said, I said, fine, I have. They sent me a link. We connected. I was sitting here, right here where I'm sitting. And we that that proceeding was taking place. And immediately the man saw this flag behind me. He said, Biafra. This is a white man who he said Biafra. <coughs> he, 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 he first of all leave what the business of the day. He said Biafra. I said, yes. This man began to explain to me the story about Biafra, which took him almost 20 something minutes or 50, 15 minutes. After finishing, I was looking at him. He said, Your official language is what? Igbo. He said the official language of Biafra is Igbo. I said, you are right. After we finish, now we now enter the business of the day. Why I'm saying this thing is about these foolish ones who is enjoying corruption in Nigeria, who are fooling themselves before the white, fooling themselves before the public. Like Peter Obi, who said Biafra died 50 something years ago. How can someone can how can Peter Obi's name, his father's name die? Can someone's name die? The answer is no. That is why every man or every woman is bound to have a child. The one that died, the name that died is the name that has no child. With these centuries, his name will be forgotten. As soon as that person die, let's say before two generations, he's gone. Nobody will remember such person again. But as far as that person has a child, let it be a female child, let it be a male child. If that female child go and marry, and that child has that female child has a children, that name of that person is not dead. It continues continuously because something will come. They say, ah. Is the daughter of so 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 person? Is the daughter of lion man who marries so 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 place? That name has appeared again. Oh, you don't know the children. This is the children of so 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 daughter of a lion man. That is the grandchildren of that name will appear again. So how come Peter be told Nigeria because of his selfish interest told them that Biafra is dead? That was when they knew that he is a dangerous man. Let me tell you something. To classify someone as a very dangerous person can be seen during the time of your association. Imagine me now coming. Somebody will ask me Maybe I'm pushing something. Somebody will ask me, are you an IPOB member? And I say, no. But the person knew that I'm an IPOB member. Because all of us are IPOB. Indigenous people of Biafra.
but there is members those who are fronting who are venturing into their fear of the people that has that identity ip i, I pop it's not compulsory that everybody must venture into that affair it's not compulsory that's why i say it's not somebody somebody say i am not ipo member makes you excluded from being a biafra no there are people who always pilot vehicle everybody cannot be driver because there's only one person who can drive while others will be in the vehicle but the most important thing where is this vehicle going to we are heading everybody we agree everybody in that vehicle is okay ah our vehicle is heading to river state that's our final destination everybody everybody in that vehicle know that this is where this vehicle is going to our vehicle is going to enugu everybody know that ah this is our final destination is when you ask mr a inside that vehicle where is the vehicle going to enugu okay our vehicle is going to cross river state that is our final destination where is the vehicle going if anybody asks question on that during the journey where is the ah, we are going to cross river state because everybody know that this is where we are going both those who agree and those who disagree on biafra restoration it does not make you an enemy but that is your personal choice that because everybody must not agree it doesn't make you an enemy you are not an enemy but those who have developed the attitude of sabotaging because he is not in agreement with that then now they have come to sabotage you they have come to danger endanger the life of those who say okay i will be among those that will pilot this vehicle to this final destination and you forgot when you are fighting me who is driving that vehicle you are endangering the life of other people in that my vehicle I am the only soul who is piloting this thing, this vehicle. I'm driving the vehicle and we have a way where we are going to. And now you are fighting me while I am driving. You are fighting, you are punching me. And you forget that I'm a loose control. Both you, 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 that is inside that vehicle punching me, you will lose your life. Those that are carrying will lose their life. I may lose my life. This is exactly what is happening to our senators. This is what exactly what is happening to our House of Rep members. This is exactly what is happening to the governors. Which they, that is why when the white are looking at them, the white. Let me tell you, there is no white people. There is no white countries that doesn't know about Biafra. They know us more than we know ours. I said I was shocked. This is where I sit. When the hour of the judgment or the hour of the proceeding of the court get, I have to sit here. Waiting for them to give me a link. Immediately they give me a link, I click the link. I off the camera. I was ordered to on the camera because everybody have to be seen. They have to see the person they are. I have to on the camera. The judge left what he's supposed to be doing and now begin to tell me about Biafra. Tell me the war, tell me how the conspiracy against the Biafran people. 
before he now start the business of the day. But they, this is our own person, our own brother. They ask him, what is, he said his identity have died because of he want president, he want to enter Sarok. Ask him what he's going to ask Rock to do. He's not going there to do anything. He's just going there to steal. Because they're all, anybody who is coming to tell you that they want to fish Nigeria, Nigeria is unfishable. Anybody, I want this thing to sink directly to the head of every soul in Nigeria. There is nobody, there is no human being on earth can fish Nigeria. You see Nigeria? It will be getting worse, 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 worse. As day goes by, Nigeria will be getting worse. That is why more you delay, more you sustain Nigeria, more you are sustaining your parents. Nigeria was designed to take care of the Europeans. That is what Britain did there. All the enjoyment you see that Europeans are enjoying, their citizens have been taken care of. In time of health care, in time of education, everything began from Nigeria. Nigeria is the key. This journey of restoration of Africa, it won't be easy. And it's not for hallelujah boys and hallelujah girls. I've seen this thing. The Biafra restoration is purely for men. When I say, when I use word men, is a plural word for those with intelligence. Because when you want to describe somebody, people with intelligence, it can include women. They say this is for this journey of men. Women is included. It's not a journey for light brain people, people with that mind. Your mental toughness must be increased. If not the way, if not the way, the leadership of IP will be managed the same since Mazin and the was done. Let me tell you the original purpose why Ohanes and Debo recruited that idiot in Finland. Let me tell you the purpose. And immediately that purpose, then Finanese switch in. They begin to supply him money. They begin to bankroll him. Let me tell you what they wanted to, to use him for. For most of you who does not know that depart then let me i want just want to venture that place then i come out and go and face what i come here to do what they wanted to use him for because that's exactly what he did in eboy uh, what he did in eboy every loyalist of mazen and they can he sabotaged them he submit them into the hands of the devil mind and uh, most of them were killed because those ones thought that they are dealing with their brother out of ignorance. They never knew that this is beyond brother. Most of them foolishly submit themselves. They say, eh, eh, DOS, they don't want him because he is from a, He used many methods of lies to deceive them, only to submit them into the hands of devil mind and they were all wiped out he killed he killed them in their numbers he killed them in their numbers as soon as he discovered that you love mazen nandekano mazen nandekano you are loyal to mazen nandekano he will come after you. That is why watch everybody that is very dear to Mazen Nandekan. He doesn't like them. Very 
simple something to discover. He hates Mike Kezekome simply because Mike Kezekome volunteered himself to defend Mazen and Gai. That idiot recruited by Ohanes and Debo developed hatred immediately. He hates the Paris State Joffre because simple because. That one is fully loyal to Mazen and the Khan. He loves Mazen and the Khan. He hates him. Anybody that is very that have this very deep love, Mazen and the Khan, he is number one enemy. Very some very simple something to discover. But I don't know why our people are not to this level. What they wanted to use him is to establish internal fight. Internal fight. But immediately the leadership knew. The, the immediately the leadership code where Nigeria government is driving, where they are want to use this guy for. The leadership just keep him keep him quiet. As he was doing that gra 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 gra. Thinking that they will pay him attention, the leadership abandoned him, abandoned his foolishness, allow him. So when the Nigeria government saw that no, this is not working, those boys that is using, those boys they recruited for him, you know, that is group of betrayers. Betrayers always betray themselves. When they will do kidnapping and get money some police officers who are working with them some army officers who are working with them want to share the money they will share they will have problems some of them like the one that dies the old mode what killed the mode is simply because they ram some money they kidnapped the person they kidnapped the, the money they paid was not shared equally it was there asking him to give him his own quarter this one was here, there, asking to give his own quarter. Fight, boss out. At the end of the day, he pretended that he is not in any more angry with him. That is how he submit them. He was murdered. This is how this is how his pattern has been. He, money, if any time money come, look at what he did to to Alloyd. Alloyd had been working with him secretly. Immediately that money they went to collect in Enugu governor's hand. Immediately he suspended he suspected that this money had been paid, but they are lying to him. Why that one was still there in a hotel where they lodge him, tell him that he will come and see governor. He was in a hurry. Criminals they don't have patience. If you want to know a criminal minded person, they don't have patient. No. Patient is far away from criminals. That is where God cursed them. Anybody that has a criminal minded, you never have patient. That's why they don't succeed in anything. They're always in a hurry. Out of his in anxiety, ah, this thing has been this man never give this man money. He, 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 fuck, he fucked up. I say, call the number, call the number. Thank God that the man explained to the truth. You can see the chat. He's not answering the chat. He's not responding to the chat. He forgot that Nigeria, sometimes, no light. Just because of a day, the man did not respond. No, no call, no, no connection. He went ahead and published everything there. Then chatted. Do you know why he did it? He did it so that the government will pick him up. That is his intention. He did it so that they will pick Alloyd up. Because what Alloyd is is a lawyer, but he involved in a crime. That is a crime. Moving around, extorting people secretly. Being an agent on the ground, he said, "Is this is part of this is part of crime? 
Nigeria has no law. If he's here now, a lawyer will be in behind bars. He will be in the prison. He should be in prison. A lot of Jimako should be in prison. Nigeria has no law. Then let me go back where I'm coming from. Peter B was asked, what is the Biafra? He said Biafra died because he won presidency. The same Peter B today. Let me, let me read from his comment. Let me read from his latest comment. So that you will hear, you will not hear from me and say, like young man say, this is coming from Peter B. This is coming from Peter B. Nigeria Judiciary, Nigeria Judiciary, Nigeria Judiciary, Executive, Legislative, Arms, all infected with corruption. Disrespect for rule of law, P2B. Disrespect for rule of law. Now, I want people, I want, there's something I want to figure out from that. I want to express something out from that place. P2B was a governor of Anambra State. During the time of P2B, most of members was murdered were brutally murdered, extrajudicial killing, injustice. Because he is a governor, he was enjoying the, he was enjoying Nigeria as a country of corruption, as a country of lack of accountability. So any money that enter you, anyhow you like, you give, you bring out, whatever you bring out is what people will take. Nobody, nobody have the right because the constitution did not permit anybody to, to question you about about the fund of the state. You see, he was enjoying the corruption. He was enjoying the injustice. And he met the injustice on his own people. Extrajudicial killing of people without due process. But the same man is talking about judicial and executive being infected. Now, what question you ask him? Is it today that he noticed it? Now, let me stop when he was a governor, when he killed most of members. Peter B is aware of what happened to what happened in Nepal. How our people was massacred, just holding flag, demanding for the identity. Did Peter B offer utter any word? Have this kind of people now filed a case and say, oh, let us seek for justice for this thing. This is, this is, this is uncalled for. No, he didn't. Because he has a hope to continue to enjoy corruption in Nigeria. He didn't. Mazen Nandekano was kidnapped. Extraordinary reduction to Nigeria. Did the P2B one day wrote about anything about Mazen and the Canon to the Human Rights Organization or society consigned body of institution? Write them and say, This is abnormal. This cannot happen. This is our country. This cannot happen. If you allow this thing to happen, this is established, which means you will not have a country to leave. Kidnapping is a very serious case. Extraordinary reedition is a is an international crime. Did the P2B utter any word concerning this? He no. He keep quiet because he all his desire he want to go and uh, be at the head of the corruption. Because anybody who is a Nigerian person just want to be at the head of corruption. That is all. He can't change anything. He just want to be at the center of the corruption. But today he's talking about. Because he have been, he have got to him. There is a. I want to show you a video. Where can I get? It? Where did I send that video? Oh my goodness, God! 
I want to show you a video. I think I posted it on my wall. I think yeah, I posted it on my wall. I want to show you a video so that you understand the reason why you must speak. It doesn't matter if you hate me, lion man, and you see injustice being meted on me. If you don't speak, let me tell you something. That moment you don't speak because of, ah, I hate this man. It's good for him. Let him go and suffer. And you know that is my 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 being it or my being pick up is is under uh, 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 what do you call it is without due process now i want to show you this video i want to show you i want to just demonstrate this video for you what is your name wait I'm my coming. name is alexis let me start alexis please now i'm coming now watch you that second desk of blue jacket what is your name my name is alexis alexis please leave my lecture room i don't want to see you at one of my lectures ever again i don't understand i am not gonna ask a second time uh, thank you Why are there laws? What are laws for? Anyone? Social order? To protect the person's personal rights. So that you can rely on the government? Justice? Thank you. Tell me, was I unfair to your classmate just now? Indeed I was. So, why didn't any of you protest? Why didn't any of you try and stop me? Why? Do you, do you get the message now? Do you not get the message? Do you not get the message? This video is very deep. Do you not get the message? This video is a video in which the senators from Biafra land and their House of Rep members from Biafra land and the governors from Biafra land and the ministers from Biafra land should be watching this video and renew their mind. Do you see what the professor did? He walked into the lecture room and he intentionally did it. He wanted to pass a message to the people he is teaching. He pointed at a girl. He said, you stand up and leave my lecture room. I don't want to see you in my lecture room. And the girl asked why. He said, I don't want to repeat myself, just go. The girl picked up her books and they left. None of them speak. None of the classmates ask the man, Professor, why are you sending her out of the class? Is there any problem? They all keep quiet because it was not referred to them. It was not referred to them. It was referred to other people. My bro knows who knows what they can do. But it shocked to them as the girl left. He asked them, I my, I, "Was I fair to your classmate?" One of them said, "Yes." The other one said no. He said, oh, what is the law for? 
say relying on government, he said no. The other one said justice, he said. Was justice given to the your classmate? He said no. Then why did none of you protest? Let me tell you something. This is why I what I what we learn from the white. This is one character I love from them. You see now, I am a foreigner. Quite all right. There are something that will happen to me now in the public. You will see a white person passing. He will park. He will stop his vehicle. They want to know what happened. Because this is a society, they don't have another place to go. This is their dwelling place. If you spoil, which means their life don't spoil. That is why whenever injustice is being meted on somebody, Either you love that person or you don't love that person. And you, you make a research and discover that, oh, this person is innocent. And what is going on on him is uncalled for. You have to speak. It, it may be your worst enemy. Do you know why you have to speak? You have to speak against the injustice that being meted on him or her. Because the reason why you have to speak is because so that this thing will not grow wind. Because we have, human being has one character. Human being has one character. It's like a man who is a Casanova, who loves flirting. And uh, he will flirt. The girlfriend or the wife will be complaining. And the friends around him, maybe because of what they are enjoying from him, nobody will be bold enough to tell him, ah, my brother or my friend, but your wife is right, or your girlfriend is right. What you are doing to her is, how can you be staying or dating her, you are still moving around doing this and that. Even do it on his own present, on her own present. You understand me? So everybody keep quiet. There will be a moment that guy or that man will not grow in. He will not take that character as normal thing, as normal life of a man. You have developed. You have developed it because nobody caution him on time. This is what destroyed Nigeria. When it's happening to a Yoruba man, an Igbo man will say, Upon the Yoruba, man. When it's happening to Igbo man, a Yoruba man will say, Upon the Amona, in Yamini, Amona, Amolori Bru, Ojoko, leave him to die. What is happening to our a Yoruba man will say, allow them to die. He can never come out and say, no. This thing don't have, it don't have to happen. Why? Why must this thing happen? This is injustice. This is what is happening to Pitodi. All of the, do you see any senator? Do you see any senator from Biafra land utter any word of what they did to him? No. Because this has been their character. Because all of them are watching, they will say, you are not talking about injustice. To make a power walk. What has been happening to your youth in Biafra land? Extrajudicial killing of the youth who are just talking. Have you said anything? You are talking about injustice. That's why all of them are looking at him. You are talking about injustice. You haven't started. Today he's talking about injustice. 
Where have he been? All this while injustice have been meted on that land. No embassy is functioning in the whole of Biafra land. If you want to travel to America, you have to go to Lagos, you have to go to Abuja. Injustice. But all of them are enjoy, enjoying it. Because if you want to go to his own, he will enter flight, he will go. So it's not necessary that they speak up against the injustice method on the people of that place. When he want to build the largest mall, he took the money from Anambra and go and build it in Abosa land. Injustice. And it's a crime. A, a sitting governor who are governing a state, leaving the state where he governed to go and invest on another man's state. That shows that he was, he was never a patriot of that place. There's no spirit of patriotism in that place where he ruled. This is a crime that's supposed to put somebody behind bar for 20 years. But look at him walking around. Do you know that a, a governor of a state, who governs a state, as well as a politician of a state, you don't have right to invest in another state. You don't have a right to build a house in another state. Every of your investments must be remain that place where you say you love. Because what is the meaning of governing the people? You are saying, I love these people. For that, I am coming out to govern the people. Because I love my love, I want to display my love. So, so now, you now take the money from the state and go and invest it in another man's land. And you create a job there. In another man's place. You create a job. Why the people that you say you love are unemployed? This is what you're talking about. This is what we are talking about. This is what we are talking about. None of them is talking about how are we going to get seaport? Why must and a Biafran import goods and goods will land? In another small territory, Yoruba land, first before coming. No, no, but let me say it. Now, British government, because of the fire IPOB is hitting, hitting down the truth, because they, they know, they, they, one thing I love the whites is that they, they know the truth. When the truth will hit them, no matter the high kind of, the only white race that hates Biafrans is the British. The British, they thought with passion. That's why I told you, I keep on saying it as a Christian. It's not everything written in the Bible is the word of God. Understand, I don't know why we are so foolish. If you say it now, some people will tell you, say, are you, are you, what are you talking about? Holy Bible. What makes it holy? Who printed the Bible? You, 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 that said, you said that Chinese people does not know God. They don't know anything. They don't. They don't know God. It is you that know God. Why is where where is Bible printed in China? The same people. So with that printing alone, have already supposed to show you that. Supposed to tell you that it's not everything you see there you believe. Bible is something that. Let me tell you the what Bible stands for. When you open it, you look for something reasonable there to take. The one that is seen unreasonable, you close it. You keep it aside. But when you ask you, because of white man have called it holy, what is the meaning of holy in Igbo language? Nso. What is the meaning of unso in Igbo language? What is the procedure of unso? Because that Korea is holy. Arapo. You not go mad. It's not everything that there is a holy. There were many lies there. Only if you have the spirit of God, you will discover them. But those with foolishness can never, can never, they will read it 100 years, they will not know. 
I've discovered all of them, where lies flow, where this flow. Story of Noah is a pure lie. I am telling you now, take it all, you leave it. That story of a Noah, Noah do this, Noah carry sheep, carry uh, animal, put, that is, is a story of a drunkard. It's a story, and, and I'm here to tell you, it's a story of a, it's, a, it's unreasonable. If you read this, what can be a prank? was a prank now. I There is a place I read in Bible. Though. I don't. I don't just open Bible and read anyhow. I select the places I read. Read and read with sense. Slave, obey your master all time. Who is slave? You are now. Because that's why they ask you, do not question. Slave, obey your masters all time. Who is the master Britain? So what they are referring to you, you, Africa, obey them. Whatever they come. Fat, Jesus Christ. Obey your master at all time. Who is the slave? What, what do we ask? This body well, has been there. Nobody has asked question. What do you ask? Who is that slave? That will obey the man. Who is the master? Who is the slave? Yes. Who is the master? Who is the slave? That's that place you will see fight with boss out. They will know that now you are reasonable. They will not fight you. Ken and the Eber sold something. My brother, thank God, and uh, I went to school with my head. Ken and the Eber went and sold the offer. They offer this one, this one offer uh, this one, this one offer tiny one, this one, and the uh, uh, Ken kill Eber, and uh, he ran away. And they were the first creator creation. He ran away now to another place. I meet the people there. I married there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. I say well. How did you go I married there. Who did he marry? Adam and Eve is the father and the mother of the earth. And. Uh, they are saying when they disobey God, God caused them. They begin to wonder, wonder, they become wonder, they begin to suffer. And meet another people somewhere. Oh, oh, Nika, I mean, oh, my mother, oh, my mother, I'm going to say, oh, your child, that he had, no child, that he had, snake, and now, say, who do, oh, go, go, then, I want to be a big old dog, and that is this is the word of God inside that Bible. I want to be a mepela again. You're there, and this is a directive and a reasonable word of God. When you can get me pay a lag here, if you have, I say, if you have the problem we have is that most of us does not have spirit. If you have spirit of God in you, nobody will minister to you, you will just discover it. You will just spend this. I say, here, I will never listen to here again. You will not hear. I will never listen to hear again. Before you must defend or fight against injustice, you must be reasonable enough and your brain must be healthy. I 
that's why I love the members of IPOB. I saw one article written by one of our media, one of our media warriors that put their own on writing. Do you know the media warriors I respect much? Those media warriors of yours that are putting their own in writing. Because if you want to hide the truth from a black man, put it in writing. That's something I said a few years ago. I said, especially black that from that Zugeria, Zugeria. Any blood that comes from that Zugeria, if you want to hide a secret, eh, just put it on the writing. Put it on a, on a book. Drop it on the center table of your house. You can put a secret of billions of naira or billions of dollars inside a written note and put it inside the book and drop it on the center table of your city room. It will remain there 10 years. Nobody will find that secret. Because it is put in the, in, the, in, the, in the writing. Black man, that is where you will punish black man. Eba kaka no, eba kaka no wo ebe black man no. Just keep, just write the the secret of the wealth where it is. Don't tell, don't tell your wife anything. Don't tell your children anything. Just write it and put it on the paper, on the book and drop it very open place in your house. Just drop it there. Allow them to discover it by themselves. They will never discover it because it's a book. But the carry nonsense, carry treasure, just visible treasure, just carry nonsense, just hide it inside that direction and, and keep it, they will pick it. Just, it isn't I'm telling you, just try it. Just write something, write something, you just, and that place may be where your original service or wealth is lying, is lying on, just write it and put it in a book. Just drop it. You will come there, you will meet it, you will come there, you will just travel. You will come back, you will be you will be waiting and be listening to your wife or your children. Ah. How can we am I still let me see if they will, will come in and tell me ah, am I the one that put this thing here? Ah, you didn't tell us anything. You will never hear anything because you, you have put it or you have put it on something that will, they will never access. At least it is, it is written. No, they will never access it. That is why we are where, where, where we are today. We love to listen. No questioning. Look at the article about uh, the establishment, the temporary, temporary, underline that language, temporary establishment of British consulate in Enugu. Do you see the insult? Temporary, not permanent, too. temporary. Do you know who brought that idea? Ohanes and Debo. Anything that they will use to deceive the people. Is what they always they will always venture into it. They will go and meet them come. You know, you know everything about them is is begging. They are always begging. Habo habo bebeto, bebeto, begging 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 begging. Eji begging bohon. They have cost them with begging. Maybe they have grouping themselves, they just went to British, that small boy, that idiot. They just went to him. You know, they don't have shame. You see old men, matured men. Now going, oh Jesus. Did they, all, all, did they understand the meaning of ambassador? Okay, now let me explain the meaning of ambassador to them. 
<laughs> Father, who do, who do we offend? Who do we offend, Lord? Chuko Kikadama, who do we offend? Tell us what we will do. We will do the sacrifice to, to please you, Lord. Because something is wrong with these people with elder age. It's like there is a curse on them. They don't have reasonable, they don't reason. Because now, can you go to your Google and Google the meaning of give us? I want the definition of ambassador or embassy. Okay, now let me start from embassy. Embassy in any country is to represent the country, not to. to re America, America embassy in this country, Brazil, is to represent Americans in this land. Americans living in this land. It is not for Brazilians. It is to take care of the Americans, the affairs of Americans living in this country. I don't know if our politicians, I don't know the kind of school they went to. It is to take care of Americans living in this land. And the, that particular definition of embassy have never changed. That is what it is. That is what it is. Not to better the life of the people who they come to meet. No. The government of the people will take care of the people. They are only duty is to take care of the Americans living in that place. That's why it is their representative overseeing the affairs of those national nas uh, nationals living in that place. He represent them. He will speak for them. If anything happened to them, he will report back to the country. Ah, one of our citizens, this happened to him, this is, he will give account of that citizen of yours in that particular place so which one now is British embassy talking about in Biafra land in other way to better the life of I don't understand so that shows you that they are still ruling you do you see that our person don't have no shame so so British now the one now to take care of us in our own land. A man that's supposed to come and represent his own people now are now parading himself as one who is coming to represent us. Oh Jehovah, who do we offend? Insult upon insult. Now can a, can a Nigeria ambassador in Britain? Go now and say and go and meet the Prime Minister of Britain and go and meet uh, the King Charles Todd and meet with him and say we are, we are just here to make sure that you are citizens. Oh. I think uh, he will not even remain there 24 hours, they will they will send him back. They will ask him, we don't understand. Can you repeat yourself again? Now, let me read the article. This article was written by who? Yes, written by Maze Anye, 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 Anye Kings. Anye King, a very powerful writer, uh, media warrior. Now, this is what Anye King re uh, wrote. Biafra. The newly proposed British consulate in Enugu State led pause to Panda. The intention rather than the action. This, this article was written today. Today by Anya King. My attention was drawn to a news making around the world public space about British government's intention to establish a temporary consulate office in Enugu state. The then capital territory of the nascent Biafra Confederacy and between 19, 
1967 to 1970, I decided to pause and ponder on British government intention. This is because British government age-long hatred on Biafran people cannot be overemphasized, and therefore has intention to establish a consulate in order to appoint a British consul in Enugu state cannot be far fetched in what runs in the minds of their friends who are direct victims of British government forceful amalgamation, subjugation to other component parts of the Nigerian suppressions of our will and the heavy exploitation of our resources to the betterment of the British government ruling class. Are you following? They elaborate further on why I am pondering over this British government clandestine move to open a temporary consulate. Let's get to have a clear understanding of the consulate. A consulate is defined as building in which a consul duties are carried out why consulship is defined as an official being appointed by a foreign government to reside in a foreign country in order to represent the commercial interests of her citizens in the appointing country. Is it not what I said? They are all citizens in that appointed country. Do you see the kind of insult our politicians continue to make on us due to their foolishness and their illiteracy, due to their evil? They don't know, they can never separate evil. They don't know when people are insulting them, they don't know anything. All give us money. Now, I continue. The consulship is defined as an official being appointed by the foreign government to reside in a foreign country in order to represent the commercial interests of her citizens in that appointed country. This is to say that the British government interest is always expedient ahead and over the collective interest of the, her host community. Therefore, here arises the need to evaluate and they assess the British government historical interest in Biafra land before the people are made to ignorantly celebrate her continuous enslavement and exploitation in this 21st century. The era of massive awakening by the indigenous people of Biafra quest for total freedom and the resistant government age-long slave policies of the Biafran people and her resources, it is still dumbfounded that the British government are hell-bent in making up policies for her former colony debt. The unrepentant British government ruling class are yet to come to terms that this generation of Biafrans and Africa at large are ever more determined and the result to put a stop to new colonist ideologies in respective of whose ox is God known ne neither are they afraid of what it will cause us, hence the cry for freedom. Having defined what a consulship and a consulate means in a broader scope, let's reflect back to what is British government ruling class interest in the Afrian land since her e-forceful amalgamation of the South and the North as generating economic and the economy protectorates since in the year 1914 up to her make-believe flag independence in the year 1960 and also to note down the rule the British government played in support of Nigeria committed genocide against Biafra in 1967 to 1970. To us, the great Biafran, it was a defensive war of survival of being estimated against the Nigerian government and her former 
colonists come slave masters. One of the infamous quotes by the Prime Minister of the UK, James Harold Wesson, during the British government-sponsored war of genocide against Biafran people says, the dead bodies of half a million Biafrans will not force the British government to change its policies concerning Nigeria's civil war. The Biafran nation cannot be allowed to be for we do not trust what they will become with their are you are you people following? Are you people following? Are you people following this right this 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 interesting article written by Ayin King? Are you people following it? These are the kind of people you will go to their page. You read meaning and you you, be, you 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 begin to reason properly. But rather what all of you will be doing, you will be going to where they are creating content. Because this is how the society of Nigeria have useless your brain. They have they have damaged all your brains. This is the page where you will go, like Harry King, a mega gift. Uh, uh, what the other one? Ibe Amara. This is where you will go, you will read uh, Elo, Elo Chuku Ohege. This is where you will go. You will be reasonable. You will know that their fans have something. But rather, one illiterate will be somewhere. The group of Ohanese will be somewhere in Finland. Diverting your attention. Creating content. Every week you must bring a new content. Next week, and only God knows what is preparing to bring next week. Last week was the Biafra Liberation Army. <laughs> six people. Six people now is army. Six people is army that will liberate you. You see how foolish you are. This is why they say slave, obey your masters at all times. And that is what is applying to you. One F left, open his face with the DSS standing behind him wearing Nigeria police uniform and army. And they call it a liberation. And a reasonable person. I have de I have, de I have dealt with many, many people. You know what I do? I, let me let me just open up. Maybe most of them will be wondering uh, why are we, why are we not in the lion man's page? I don't throw that nonsense on my page. It, what I did is anybody that share it, and I, I come across such content from him from Finland on my appear on my wall i will just click on that person that shared to see if that person is a friend on my face if it's just a friend bam, i block you i first of all remove you from friend then i block you that's what i do are you following this are you following this right up So what, what is the meaning of bringing the temporary consulate to Enu? In other way, to enslave all human who wouldn't be believe. And now, it is the plan of Ohanes and Debo. Instead of this youth to remain here and be agitating for what is the right, come, come, there is an Ohanes and Debo. They were, they were the ones that went there to Abuja and pleaded with him. And the, that one will now call the government, look at the new development. Too. Or Hanez and Dibu will be the one to give them the idea. Bring the, bring the embassy. Allow them to move. Give them visa. Allow them to go, to go. So that we will... Because if this you to stand here, they will be agitating. Give them visa. Give them give the fact. Make it massively. Give them give them visa. Let them go so that by the time they go, they will forget. 
then you will see chance to uh, to exploit the oil, take everything. Just give us, just give us something. This idea we are giving you now is the ultimate. Just try it. That's why they come. Some will go there. Some, uh, although uh, uh, the new report I got from whom, almost all the youth now, all the women who now go suffer. Sorry to say this. You see, women, Biafra women, eh? If we not take time, if we not take time, most of you will remain single to the old age. Because the men, they are now, you know, they, since they legalized, this is the secretly sign. Okay, I'm okay. Let me not call it in English. <laughs> since they secretly sign, okay, I'm okay. Since late Mohammed Buhari, almost half of Umu Ibo youth. I am saying it the way it is. Almost half of Igbo youth, men, are not gay. Secretly gay. How was it now? Homo? Or the, or the very rampart among our Igbo, Igbo young, young youth. Are 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 All the Lebanese who are living in Nigeria now, this is, uh, uh, they have turned to their customer. Rocha Sokorocha. This is what they enjoy now. Women are not enough for them anymore. All these young, young, small, small boys, 19, 20, 18, that is university. This is what they are doing. But they are not even hiding it again. If you go to Calabar, they don't open club for them there. They have one club in Lagos State. They have in Abuja. And this is what we said is abomination. No? And uh, our churches are not focusing on this kind of world too, because most of them, half of the pastors in Nigeria, this is what they this is what they do. For half of them, this is what they do. So, who will speak about against it? It's only IPUB. And if you speak against it, they will report your page. Because that's why, as I'm speaking now, they will report my page. <laughs> If Biafra is not restored, without without IPOB, eh? By now, by now, by now. Oh Lord! You see, our Christian body should go and be doing Thanksgiving. Any time, eh? When they want to pray, let them focus on Chuko and say, Ah, Father, we thank you for giving us Mazen and the Kano who produce IPOB. One, you see, you see what happened, how it is happening in the north. No more church in the north. Some states in the in the north, church, anything church has closed down. Maybe Allah have snorted them in their number, and nobody they have shut church down in the north. By now, if 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 not IP will be by now. Nobody will be going to church in the east. Maybe Allah could have snorted everybody. Even fear no go carry, fear no go let you say eh, 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 hallelujah. It decrease. Why there are still Christians today in Nigeria is because of IPOB. In Nigeria, I'm talking about in Nigeria, both in Europe land and everywhere. These people they don't know this what people, these people plan plan for them. IPOB is the only obstacle. And this is why the British have 
hates us. Mehti Allah, go ahead. Allah will be the one to tell you, tell you about, uh, about the story of IPOB. If you want to know the genuity of IPOB, go and meet Mehti Allah. Just meet them and say, how is this IPOB? How powerful is IPOB? Mehti Allah will give you a perfect testimony. I know what I'm talking about. Because they are the people who say, Oku hade, Oku. They want to enslave everybody. They want to Islamize everybody. Then when they come, we tell them, we, we, meet, we meet with them in the bush. We tell them, you are too small. And they confirm it, they run away. You know, government, government are funding them. You know, people, Mehti Allah is government. The government is Mehti Allah. Imagine where you confront a government who, who, have, who have put his plan together to achieve something and you are, able, you are able to stop them. <laughs> when government put plan together to I will, I will achieve this thing and the group of people say no. This is evil. You are not going to achieve it. Although they have achieved it, they did not. They have achieved it everywhere. But immediately they get that determined. So no, it is remained the the Afrans. We are going to Islamize them. <laughs> we 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 met with them. They confirmed that yes. There are people that is bigger than them. We, they, we, are not, we don't hate anybody. What we do, we just stop them. We say, no, stop. If you go further like this, we de, you, you, you will regret it. Stop. And they stop. They move away. They went to where they have been carrying the oppression. They go back. They have begin to massacre them in, the, in their numbers. They play to Agula. Satan can do not finish. That's why when I look at, uh, we don't hate anybody. Let me tell you something that people, until you understand IPOB, you will not understand. In IPOB, we have pastors, we have reverend fathers, we have, we have popes. Pope, we have pope. Yes, I am a pope. <laughs> I am an apostle. I am an evangelist. I am going to whatever name you may call them. But that does not stop us to say the truth. Anywhere the truth is needed. Obiala Christianity, even more no. Make where you see Like I'm sick of the Bible now. In the Bible, I'm going to be a I'm going to be nonsense every day. I'm going to have some nonsense. Where some word of God there. Undeniable. This is who we are. If you want healing, if you want restoration, you must embrace truth. Either that truth is against you or is in favor of you, you must embrace it. Because word of God, word of Chuko Kikabema said, Thou shall speak the truth and that truth shall set you free. There is something that God saw in the truth. That is why he ordered that we should engage in the truth. I don't want to say anything about this tight, this tight that is that is going on, flying, this and you see, sometimes all these our Christian new generation pastors, they used to use bullet, they used gun, shot themselves, bullet on the foot. They're unknowing to them. The Bible they give you, they give Bible, they will tell you that uh, oh, we are on a new grace, new testament. The arrival of Christ bring a new door. Arrival of Christ brought a new door, a new way, a new grace. I agree. I totally agree. But arrival of Jesus Christ that brought a new door. Where is Malachi? 
<laughs> no. Sometimes, where is Malachi found? Is Malachi found in a new door or in the old door? Emala, how do you sometimes? How do you judge? I go to without reasoning because how many go? How many go have church that you can only sit down and be listening? You don't have time. You don't have opportunity to ask them question. So this thing have given them opportunity to be saying nonsense without watching the people they are talking to. There's something I want pastors to believe. Pastors should be watching the view. They, they should be watching people they are talking to. Know that not everybody that are sitting there are idiot. There are something you'll be talking, reasonable men We brought out their phone. They will be busy with their phone. Reasonable men in the church will be busy with they will some of them will just bring out their gadget. And you don't know the reason why they are doing it. And sometimes you'll be complaining. You will say you don't pay attention to the word of what what what, what of nonsense are you saying that you want to pay attention to? Do you think that everybody have time to pay attention to nonsense? Instead of you to provoke him, he now find something doing because you call the don't we're busy. Because what would he mind about here accordingly? You said the arrival of Christ brought new door. Good. New door is good. Everybody likes to fish new door in the house. Where is Malachi found? Does he find in a new door or in the old door? <laughs> so you you love new 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 way. That one I favor you. You don't want you don't want to be disciplined. Because Christ is grace, grace and this and grace and mercy and this and that uh, is good. But where you hook up, you don't hold on there. You don't want to leave that particular door, that old door. You just hold on to that Malachi. The the new door has abolished the old old door now, according to you. So allow, allow the old thing to follow the old thing and go. Why are you dying, crying, hitting your head on a wall for what you open your own mouth and say that the new door brought new change? One, I said I want somebody. I want to touch this thing today. I will invite my brother, my own elderly brother. Uh, Dr. Donald. One day I will invite him, we will have to schedule and we will resolve this problem. We are going to resolve this problem because this is IPOB, we are we are problem resolver. We have to resolve this problem publicly. I will invite him, I will I will send him a message. Then we will come on air one day, we will anchor program, we will resolve this problem of this misunderstanding of Christianity and the not and some individual who infiltrate it because infiltrators are too much infiltrators are much if you say you abandon something abandon it completely now you can abandon some and leave some obedience is better than sacrifice Obedience is better than sacrifice according to the word of prophets against Saul. Isn't it? And the, the same Bible said that women in a congregation, in a church, that women should shut up their mouth. Not to say any word. Women, women, women should keep quiet in a church. Not to utter any word. Rather, when they go home, if there is anything they don't understand, they should ask their husband at home. And the word of God says, obedient is better than what? Sacrifice. Then why is this? Why is this massive disobedient? today why is this massive disobedience today 
Why is the woman talking in the church? Why are they not talking in the church? Why are they now being made pastors, being made bishop? When Barunu lay when Endara dre, oh, when Endara so they had the Bible, and this that drama, and the Ongo 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 one uh, one prof in a bado that time in a bado prof emeka prof emeka is always on the joint where they drink sepe agogo very intelligent man no? professor emeka very intelligent man from omaha is a prof. Uh, I said this, uh, this flat boot, I said this 230, flat boot, that time. <laughs> he will just drive, he will park there. In Abu, Ebado. Very close to the University of Ebado. Because that is where we frequent that time. There is one man they call Bachelor's Restaurant. Only men serve there. Only men serve there those days. And that place, that place is booming. That is where you will see big, 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 big boys coming to eat. No man, no woman serve there. No woman cook there. Only men. Beside it, there is one man that sells Ogoguru, Pame, all those things. This Professor Mecca will go there, he will pack, he will drink Ogoguru, drink Ogoguru, drink Ogoguru. Every time he always with a cigarette. He, his, his mouth will hear very black. He will drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and drink. He will not smoke. Ibo, Aung, Ose Pasa Yaung Leri. I know his house. The number. If he go home that time, he will drive. He will drive his vehicle. He will. He will reach. He will not brought all the book. He will take pen. If he see, this man will be write. He will be writing and writing and writing and writing. All the subjects he will be. He will be handling them after he have. He heard that fool. He will be writing and writing and writing and writing and writing. Sometime I went to his house. I will be sitting. This man would be in writing for four hours, five hours. After you have gone to drink, smoke, he will now use packet of cigarette or table. Will be bang, will be, will be pressing it down. One day I ask him, I say, Prof, inspiration. <laughs> so it is now that I now compare that man and compare some people in the character of this Bible. I say, this thing is not far from this kind of people. They were a real man of God who wrote Bible, men who follow the inspiration of God. When they know, most of them just lay them they daily. And you told you an Africa. That's why white people, white people, they know what is no, they know what is truth. They know what is truth. That's why many things they ignore it. Many things they ignore it. It's not everything you say. 
There are things that are always use their own hand and take care of themselves. I keep on telling people, like me, that is a matter that that is a matter you will bring to me. One thing I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. Let me tell you something. I will just tell you, man. I will just tell you, man. Leave this issue. It will take care of itself. You ask me how. I said the issue will be taken care of when the necessary thing have been put in place. This is why I asked one certain time ago, I said, our Biafra media warriors, please let us abandon this issue of trying to deliver our people from infiltrators in Christianity. Because let me just put the word infiltrators. We still have good pastors. We still have good reverend fathers. We still have good people who are anchoring in the Christianity. But majority of them are more bad than the good. The good ones are very, are very few. That's what I told I say, allow this thing to be. Because this thing is no problem. The problem is a sick society. The society is very sick. Imagine now in abroad, they don't have, in abroad, the company doesn't close. Company here in abroad doesn't know what is called Sunday. Go and ask anybody. But they are Christian countries. This country we are is a Christian country. Go and Google it, it will tell you Christian country. Many countries, America is a Christian country. British, Britain is a, 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 UK is a, is a Christian country. Italy is a Christian country. Does that Christianity hinder them from developing? The answer is no. They, you ought to be asking yourself, so which means is not this this Christianity is not the problem. The problem is the Sikh society. The society is sick. Some criminal now capitalize on it to extort, extort people. It's like when somebody will tell you that provoke God, give God something that will make God to bless you. This is a scam. It's a pure scam. Do, do never one day have that mentality that yes, if you do this, God no, God doesn't God doesn't change his blessings to anybody. The blessings of God is like a rain, a rain for you know when rain is falling, it fall on the head of the wicked and the head of the righteous. This is how God blesses people. God does not look no. He pour his blessing if you touch you take. He's a God of all. Until you know this, you'll be free. You will not be bothering yourself. You can only work hard, be creative. You know, you have to be very creative. Work hard. Then you see the way be opening on, on, on it. This country is a Christian country. And the company does not shut down on Sundays as a Christian country. Is, is it not a mystery? Is it not a surprise? Those that work in a company, if it is your turn to work on Sunday, if you, because one Sunday in, one Sunday out, one Sunday in, one Sunday out, go and ask. For those that go to church, they will go to church that day, the day on free, maybe that, that wasn't the Sunday they will be on duty, they will go to church. The Sunday they will, the Sunday they will be on duty, they will go to their work. Because he cannot tell your boss or tell the manager, ah, I'm a Christian and went to church. They will sack you. You go and look for another. And before you find another job, it will take you a little bit, a little bit time. And the surprisingly, most of these companies that run even on Sundays are owned by pastors as well. We have pastors who are investors here. 
I know them many. Because because of where I work. They come. I've asked them this question. I say in Africa, I told them in our place, in our country, you now that is a pastor and you have the company that you employ, you employ almost 120 people. That's one pastor like that. His company employ almost 120 something people. I ask, I say, why is your company working on Sunday? Because some of their managers will come and take clearance and uh, this thing, when their uh, container land, they will come and take it. They will say, supply this in, on that Friday if we did not meet up to release that goose. They will be worried. They will say they want the people, the workers have to use that thing to package it and package it on, on Sunday for exportation on Monday. So one of them I asked the man, you are, you are a pastor with the owner, you are owner of church. Why are you why not close your your company? He said no. He said for what? He said because government are collecting tasks even on Sunday. <laughs> he said no. He said if you reach their turn, they will go this and that. So as if in my place, they will tell you to work on Sunday is a is a is a is a sin. You don't you are this, you don't respect God. The man was looking at him. He said he said seriously. I said yes. I said yes. It's okay. There is no driver who drive people on Sunday. Who will go to church like all these uh, commuter drivers? I said sometimes Sunday everywhere used to be completely shut down in in, in Zujiria. He said no. Because train, train work on Sunday. There is no company here that is shut down on Sunday. Restaurant is open on Sunday. If it is your turn, you go and walk. If you are working in restaurant, you go and walk in restaurant on Sunday. If it is your turn. So that's why I told. I said, allow them to rest. When Biafra come, nobody will ask you to be serious. When Biafra comes, structure will come. Because Nigeria don't have structure. Of course, anybody can do anything you like. When Biafra come, companies will be working 24 hours. Night, morning, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Then when they come to your town as a Jewish man who worship in synagogue, on Saturday you say you are not going to work. Chideka po wak, chideka wak po zye wak na. Achua gulor. <laughs> on Sunday, if you know a company where you are earning your living with your children and your wife, you not tell them I'm a Christian. I will go to work on. I will go to church. I don't work on Sunday. I try only to work on Sunday. Put replace your agenda. If you have seen that you want to get a new chance, see, it's just it's very simple. I don't know York. By the time. You will lose job four to five times. Eat a mega diggy. You will not sweat. Nobody will tell you to open your eyes. You open your eyes. That is why many Pentecostal churches here is only Catholic that anchor. Majority of churches that anchor service in the morning on Sunday here is Catholic because that is the major center of church here but many of Pentecostal churches here in this place in this land anchor their service in the evening Sunday when everybody have gone to work and come back their service starts 6 o'clock evening and 9 in the evening Sometimes seven to nine. So it's not everything you disturb your head. There's something you allow to take care of himself. 
Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, I'm always on time of something. Please, I think uh, we, have a, we have a meeting today. Please, I will close here. But tomorrow, Sunday, I will look at uh, if I don't have any meeting to to engage on tomorrow. I think I will check. I don't. I don't think I have meeting tomorrow. Then I will anchor program tomorrow morning, as God may permit. From me, from here, I say, Mechiko Kabia may be with all of you and be with you and guide and protect you all. Please, this is weekend. For those that are mobile, please don't drink and drive. Please and please. Life has no duplicate. Life has no duplicate. Please be reasonable here and know that how you will jealously guide your life. Live a very good life, please. Don't engage in any crime that will hurt you and hurt your loved ones. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want to use this opportunity to tell the Eastern Security Network personnel, Ndewonu, Jishinike, Jishinike, Jehovah, Mpurimi Heni Lenko, Suli Lenkendara Gabu Nume. Okay, let's go to Nabal, let's go to the let's go to Toto. I want to hand in the game, man. That one, the shit.